Hey everybody, as always, I hope you're doing well out there. Today I'm going to be doing a quick video to walk you through how to edit the exercise shortcuts that are showing on your Fitbit Inspire 2. So what exactly am I talking about? Let's turn on the Fitbit Inspire 2 and let's swipe down to the exercise app. Now when I click on that to go do an exercise, you're going to see some different options that are delivered from Fitbit. So I can run, I can bike, I can swim, I can do treadmill, weights, or interval workout. But what if I know good and well that I'm never gonna do an interval workout? You can actually go in and you can change the order or the items that are showing here, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. Unfortunately, there's not a whole lot you're gonna do on your Inspire 2. As with most items on this uh, activity tracker, your settings are gonna be controlled in your app. So we're gonna to go to the Fitbit app now, and I'm gonna show you how to change those. And then we'll come back to the activity tracker, and we'll look at it. Okay, so as mentioned, now I'm on my cell phone. Now I'm using an Apple device. Doesn't matter if you've got Apple or Android. The key here is you're gonna to need to go into your Fitbit app, which is a free app from Fitbit. At the top left corner, you're gonna see your profile picture. We're gonna click on our profile picture. And then in the middle of the page, we should see Inspire 2 because that's the device we're using. I'm gonna click on that. And then I'm gonna to scroll to the bottom until I see Exercise Shortcuts. I'm gonna click on that link and you're gonna see the same thing we just saw on my Inspire 2. Run, bike, swim, treadmill, weights, interval workout. I can click on the edit button up here to remove any of those or to rearrange them. So if I wanted to say, uh, let's move swim up and let's move treadmill up, we can do that. If I wanna get rid of the one, like I said, interval workout, I can delete it. And then I can add one. You'll notice that I didn't get the option to add until I remove one because the device only lets you keep so many activities on there. So now that I add, I can go in and look at all the different activities I can add. Tennis, golf, let's see, maybe we'll add golf. And let's get rid of um, weights. Won't be doing that. Let me go add, let's see what else out there. I'm gonna go add walking. And now I wanna put walking first because that's probably the most common one. And then I'm gonna move golf Second, get it the way you want. Get the activities on there, the exercises that you're real, real, you would likely be doing on your device. Remove anything that you want. We're gonna click done. I should mention, you don't have to keep all of these on here. So if I wanted to take all of them off, except for the ones I might do, let's just leave three on there. I'm gonna click done. Now it should have written that information to my Inspire 2. Let's go back to the Inspire 2 and check it out. All right, so now we're back on the device. Let's go back into the exercise app and let's see if anything's changed. Swipe down to it. Now when I click it, the first thing I see is walk, scroll up, golf, scroll up again, run. So now when I go do an exercise, I don't have to worry about weeding through stuff that I know I'm never gonna use. Anyway, I hope this video helps make sense. If you've got any questions, post them in the comments. I'd be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching.